Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Farjana. Welcome to my another quick tutorial. In today's video, I will show you how you can customize our WooCommerce product page and how you can make our product page to look more clean and professional. So here is the default design for our product page. Here I have imported a starter template from Astra and I got this default design for my single product page. And in this tutorial, I will show you how you can customize this product page from scratch and finally it will look like this. So without any further ado, let's get started. Today I will use the Elementor Pro version. So if you still did not get Elementor Pro, I will leave the Elementor Pro download link in my description so you can check it from there. After installing Elementor Pro and activating, if I go to the dashboard and then when I go to the templates and theme builder and from here I'm going to add new and then select the template type so this will be single product and name we can type any name so I'm typing single product and create template and now for the single product page here some pre-made layout so we can start with any pre-made template if you like any one and for now I'm going to start from scratch so crossing it and now first I'm taking a new section and for the top area I'm taking the two column structure and in the left side I'm taking the product image clicking here and from here I'm searching product here is the product image So this is the default style, here is the main image and here is some more images which is showing from our gallery. And then on the right side here I am taking the product title. And here is the product title. And here we can also change the text style, by default this is taking the H1 tag. And from here we can change the alignment and also from the style tab. We can change the font color and typography. So going to typography and font family, you can take any font. So for this website, if we check the other pages and top area, we can see here is the font family to Lato. So when we create any page for any website, always try to make the similar font style like other pages. So here I want to keep the similar font. So going to type Lato and here font size we can make it to 35 or i'm making it to 30 then font weight i'm making it to bold and all others is okay and from here we can change the text color by default it's showing the black color i'm okay with this color and next i'm taking some short description about this product so again going here and searching for short so here is the short description and in the similar way we can change the text color by default this is looking good if we want to change the typography I'm changing the typography to the similar font Lato and font size I'm making it to 14 or we can increase it now 15 and font weight all this is okay and here if we want to change the font color you can change it and next I'm going to add the product price so again going here and searching for price here is the product price so it's taking the black color and the font family if we want to change the font size and all font style we can do that so going to typography and font weight I'm making it to bold and font size I'm changing it 25 and next here I want to add a add to cart button so again going here and searching for cart and here I'm taking this one custom add to cart and now you can style this font 
and the button style so going to the button and from here if we want to change the text add to cart to anything we can also do that and here we can add a new icon by default here is the shop icon so instead of this here we can add any icon with our button then here is the icon position by default this is before we can make it to after I'm leaving as default and we can change the spacing between this icon and text and then going to style tab changing the text color to white and the background color I'm making it to black and now I'm changing the padding so by default I'm making it to 15 pixel for all side and making it to unlink for right side and left side I'm making it to 35 and now if I want to make this button to a round shape so for that border radius I'm making it to 50 so now it's circle and now changing the font style so going to typography font family I think here by default it's getting the lato and font size I'm making it to 14 text transform to uppercase and font weight making it to 600 and letter spacing I'm making it to 1.5 looks good and here we can add the extra spacing between all these items so going to edit column and widget spacing by default this is 20 pixel I'm making it to 0 looks good and now from here we can add some more widgets as we want so next to the add to cart button you can add some category and tag for this specific product so for that again I'm going here and searching for product meta I'm taking this one so here is showing the category name so here the default style looks good and from here you can change the typography so going to link and typography I'm making the text decoration to underline so here we will understand this is a link with this underline and now in the very bottom area we can add some social share link so for that going here and searching for social it's center by default I'm making it to left and line and going to style tab the color I'm making it to custom and the primary color first making it to transparent and the secondary color I'm making it to black and here is the icon size making it to 18 and spacing between this icon making it to 0 looks good and here if we want to add more social icons go to the content and from here click on add item and here we can change our icon and we can add any link with this icon for now I'm crossing it and on the left side I want to add some text like share or share now so for that here to create this inline structure I'm taking a inner column going here and searching for inner so this is inner section I'm moving these social icons on the right side and in the left side I'm taking a title searching for title or heading and here I'm typing share you can change the tag to paragraph or P going to style tab and going to typography changing the font size to 16 text transform to uppercase font weight making it to 600 and adding in letter spacing 1.5 looks good and here I have to make it to vertically centered aligned so for that going to edit column and vertical align making it to middle this one looks okay and going to edit section and from here column gap I'm making it to no gap so it's now removing the extra spacing on the left side and now just over over on the middle of this section and drag it to the left side now it looks like this 
and finally in the top area here we can add product ratings and product breadcrumbs so again searching for product ratings here is the product ratings you can place it under this title so this is the default style and going to advanced tab here i'm adding some margin in the bottom for that so here going to margin making it to unlink and bottom i'm adding 20 and now for this star icon we can change this color so again going to style tab and here is the star color i'm making it to yellow color so now it looks like this and again i am going here and searching for product if i scroll down here is the WooCommerce breadcrumbs. So I'm also going to add this one top of this title. So it's showing the default style. We can keep it as it is. And finally, for this whole section, we can decrease the width of this section. So going to edit section. And from here, we can change the width. And here we can increase the spacing between these two columns. So here column gap, making it to extended and also in top area i'm adding some margin going to advance for margin making it to unlink and top i'm adding 50 pixel and also we can make the alignment to vertically center so going to layout and vertical align making it to middle all right so now it looks perfect and this section is done and after this section here i'm going to add a new section this time taking a full column structure and for the width we can take the same width so going to copy this section style and going here going to paste style and here we can take some product description so for that again here searching for product and if I scroll down, here is the product data tab. So I'm taking this. And here is the description and another tab. Here is reviews. And now we can change the font style if you want. So here is the text color. I'm changing the text color to white. And background color, I'm making a dark color. Or we can make it light dark and we can change the border color also so it looks like this and here is the active state so for active state we can make something different so text color this time I'm making it to black and background color we can make it to white and also the border color making it to dark so now this is the active state and also when you click on reviews it will show like this and here if we want to change the font family font style you can also do that for now i'm okay with this and the next section we can add some related products so going to add new section one column structure and here i'm searching for related product Here is the widgets. I'm taking this one. So the default style looks good. And here is some more customization option product per page. By default, here is showing the four item. We can make it to five. And the column, we can make it to five. And we can change the order by date or order by title pricing. I'm leaving it as default. Then going to style tab. And from here, we can change the row gap, column gap. And now, I'm changing the button style. We can keep as it is or I'm going to change the button color. Changing the text color to white and background color, making it to black. So now, it's looking like this. And here, we can also decrease the padding. So going to here, text padding. I'm making it to 10 and for left and right we can increase it so for that first making it to unlink and right I'm making it to 20 and left 20 looks good 
and here related product we can change this title so for that here going to heading and heading show heading i'm making it off so now there is no heading and here i'm taking a static heading going here and searching for title so here is the heading i'm taking this one and now here i'm changing this text to people also like and we can change the font style going to style tab and typography making it to 35 or making it to 30 font family all is okay we can change the alignment going to content and making it to center and for this section we can add some margin in bottom and top so going to edit section going to advance and margin for top and bottom adding 50 pixel so this area is done this area is okay and now going to publish and here we have to add condition and here by default is showing the product so it will work for all product page and now save and close and now if i refresh this product page cool so now we can see our new design is added so this design looks more professional and so clean and finally i'm checking the responsive view for this page design so going again here and for responsive here in the bottom left corner responsive mode going to tablet so for tablet it also looks good we can keep as it is only this section here we can increase the column width for the first one going to edit column and instead of 13 we can make it to 20 and for the second one i'm making it to 80 so now looks good and finally going to the phone view for the phone area it looks good And in the similar way we need to work for this section so going to the first column and column width I'm making it to 20 and for the second making it to 80 and now if I check the full screen you can see this looks perfect and going to the tablet looks good and also the desktop all right so going back and finally save changes so here is all for today if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and also if you like to work with me for any wordpress project you can contact me through my website thank you for watching see you in the next video